for watching this video. So, here's five tips that actually help you in your travels. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So, uh, let's get started with the five tips so that way you can get going to your travels and enjoy all the new adventures there is with traveling. So, my number five is register your guide dog. If you have a guide dog or a service animal, register them when you change to a new country. It is a thing people do, that way you can prevent not being able to travel with your service animal. And number four is take headphones on the plane. Uh, that way, if you're using a screen reader or you're watching a movie or something, you're not disturbing people next to you. Sometimes people complain about the screen reader, that it's annoying, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, the typical sub story from the ones around us who don't like screen readers, but they have to realize, it's, it's, for a lot of us, it's, it's the way we interface with our phone, so. And number three, is have somebody escort you uh, from point A to point B on the on the airport. I understand I'm the way that I like, oh yeah, I want to do everything by myself. There's certain things you want to do a company because you can actually get really cool privileges like skipping in front of all the lines and getting first class seats without actually paying for first class. Really, really neat stuff. It's awesome. And number two, get seats that are more toward a the front of the plane so that way you don't have to wait for everybody to leave you can either be the first one to leave or the last one but you have to have something where it's easy to get to the to the door uh, and you know that's that's key because usually you know if you're in the back you have to wait for everybody to come out and then you can go no you can be the first one to leave because you're the first one on, on, the, on the plane so that way you know you, you don't have to worry about getting ran over by all the people, getting their luggage and stuff. Just run out, boom. So it comes in handy. So number one, don't sit next to an emergency exit. Always ask. The reason being is because that's a big responsibility. And um, I, I, I don't know, it's just me. It's a personal thing. Like, yeah, I could do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure any of us who are blind vision impaired can do it. But why take that risk? What? Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, happy traveling if you're traveling anywhere. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.